was awarded a prize by Stark about a month ago. 20 grand check and, and hanging with Phil. <laughs> and how did you find Phil Stark? He came across as a someone that was global thinking about the issues of design and hunger and world peace and... In other words, it made so much money you can talk about Yeah. Yes, I'm a postmodern alternative Australian designer, and there's well, not many of us. I grew up in a furniture factory surrounded by, you know, three dimensional objects in Barrel, which is an hour and a half south. But why were your parents in the furniture business in Barrel, of all places? That was originally in Sydney, and they moved there for a better lifestyle. I was trained in in the craft of woodworking, so I'm very familiar with how wood moves and the nature of wood as a material. Um, I purposely use man-made materials. I use plywood. Yeah, why? Uh, sustainability. I use it because I don't really want to be a woodworker. I don't really want to be known as a woodworker. I use wood because. Uh, it's warm, you know, we can sit at this wooden table and feel the, the warmth of wood. If it was a sheet of glass or plastic or something like that, we'd go, oh, I've got a, yeah, sweaty. Uh, uh. I'm the kind of designer that embraces the technology. I'm into CNC machines, five axis router cutters, whatever can do the job for me. Mocking things up, I do it all 3D. 10 to 1 scale model, then I would go to a full scale prototype to investigate the detail, the function. The leader seat is one sheet of 25 mil plywood, yep. CNC. It's been cut like this. Oh. Just gets smaller and smaller. The prototype's been sold, I think. The Powerhouse Museum are interested in it, so. I was taught by a guy called George Ingham at Canberra School of Art. I'd do the absolute best I could do and think I'd have this most special thing. I'd bring it over and say, check this out. And then he'd strip you down, pretty much, strip your work to bits, and you'd go home going, oh, oh I'm broken though. But you come back the next day and he would lift you. To kick his ass. Yeah, he would lift you to understand the importance of detail, the the refinement, not to stop when you think, it, oh yeah, that'll do, no. Burn it, start again, get it spot on and that's that's my process that's what I do that's how I come up with was he dumbfounded that, that he had a few people like you that could do this because you know and I know at the end of the day being a teacher is one thing but having good students really get it totally yeah I mean I've taught at UTS for three and a half three years now and I haven't met one that will make it as a furniture designer Where does the design come from? It's always, it's always been a weird one. I've always had my eye on the fashions. I've always, from a, such a young age, and I was always hung around a bunch of mates that just simply didn't. In Australia, we're taught how to be middle of the road. Yeah. We're not taught to be great. Yeah. Because as soon as we get to great, everyone shits all over us. Yeah. The so, if we, if we, so when did you have that little? Uh, all right. A touch of reality. Yeah, when I started to teach, definitely. When I when I noticed that one year had gone through, there's not one. Well, these people are hopeless. They're not. They want to do this design and they don't even know what it means. Yeah, I've just spent three years at university studying design and they simply cannot get it. You're a teacher full time? Is that your, your No, one day a week. And then that's it? For money making? 
Uh, no, then I go and upholster three days a week. So you do a menial job just to get the money to make design. I simply make it, put it in the bank, and pay for materials. That's what I do. I make. I watch all my mates go and buy blocks of land and flash cars and go on holidays. I stay in the shed and make stuff. And they look at me going. What was the inspiration for something like this? I set myself a brief, pretty much. Design a, a chaise using one sheet of material, um, one sheet of man-made 25 mil, say, or any thickness, but one sheet. I was inspired to make something that was totally original, um, something that the world had never seen before, the world, like not just a faction of Sydney or... Not just the Eastern suburbs. Why hasn't anyone in the world never, ever stacked a stool to make a storage unit? I can stack, you know, ten of those up, and they look good. You know, they look really good as a as a, a stack of. They're not. You could use one to sit on or one as a bedside table, but they're really just supposed to kind of go. Well, furniture is my medium, that's my blood. I'm, I am a furniture maker. You've got a feeling for that, in other words. Yeah, I've, there was a lot of um, sons in my family, not my immediate family, but throughout our family that could have gone and done upholstery or furniture making. Um, I was the only one that really wanted it. I mean, my, my dad said, no, you're not going to come to the family business. I did that. Look where I am now, but yeah. I begged <laughs> him. <that> pretty well. <laughs> I begged him to go. So I kind of had this little stint after my upholstery trade course where I thought, oh, I'll make some design furniture. I made a couple of lounges, so I chucked him in the back of my ute, drove up here. I'd always driven past Annabelle and gone, oh, wow, look at this showroom, you know. So, yeah, so I pulled up in my ute, country boy, said, hey, I've got some furniture, you got to check this out. She said, oh, well, we're just going, what the fuck, you know, oh, right, yeah, yeah. So I've gone out to the ute, I put it on my head, I walked it in and sat it on the floor, like this big bloody lounge suite, so it was crap. And was, oh, I don't know, well, maybe, no, a couple more years and come back and see us, and, and then, yeah. Because I've had I had hair and then I lost my hair. She didn't make that, yeah, so I had to tell her when as soon as she took the stack stool. Um, finally on the Annabu showroom floor, and uh, yeah, then I told her and we've been laughing about it ever since. It's 